Hello and greetings from Percent Tylers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 26th video of 100 LRDI CAT challenge for CAT 2020 brought to you by Percent Tylers. So guys, we are at the 25% point of our challenge and I sincerely hope that you have had a great learning experience through our videos and I really wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support that you have shown to us on our channel. But please remember this is only 25%. Just imagine the kind of learning that awaits you in the next 75% of the challenge. So let's get to the set. I have named it the pet dogs. Please read this. This is the only information, one slide information for the set. So it's a three set Venn diagram question and uh, it also involves a little bit of algebra, inequalities and language interpretation skills. So we'll do little something before we get on to the questions. So I have made two Venn diagrams. You will know why two. We'll start with the first one. So 110 families overall and five of them have no dogs. That means the sum of all the numbers that we are going to enter within the circles will add up to make 105. Okay, let us read the six points given to us. The starting point of my solution will be through the last condition given. The total number of dogs kept by the families who keep all the three species of dogs is three. We know that no family keeps more than one dog of the same species and uh, since the families which keep all the three species of dogs must be keeping three dogs each and the total number of dogs kept by those families is three that completely implies that there is only one family so this diagram is for the number of families c 110 we have written as total which is the number of families not the number of dogs so i hope you understand this that since the number of dogs is three or the families which kept all the three species of dogs which means that there is one there has to be only one family because three dogs three species there's got to be only one family so we are done with this point intersection of all then i want to come to point number b which says the total number of dogs again not families kept by the families who keep Doberman and Rottweiler, both is 33. So the area which is for Doberman and Rottweiler is this and the total number of dogs in this area is 33. Now three dogs we have already counted which are in one family. Now the other 30 have to be placed here but we have to write the number of families. So this is the place where the families having two dogs each are counted so there are 30 dogs to be counted so we need to write 15 families here okay at any point of time see this is a difficult question i know so at any point of time when uh, you feel a little doubtful then please pause the video give it a thought do some work on your paper and then move ahead then i would like to come to point number e which says among the families who do not keep doberman that means it is talking about these three families. So among the families who do not keep Doberman, the number of families keeping Rottweilers is 10 more than the number of families keeping Labrador. Okay, number of families keeping Labrador will be the sum of these two places, the two places inside the Labrador circle and the number of families keeping Rottweiler will be the sum of these two places, the vacant places inside the Rottweiler. So I'm going to write this number as X. Okay, so X dogs are present both in the Rottweiler as well as in the Labrador circles which means that the difference of 10 dogs that is mentioned over here so Rottweilers are 10 more than Labrador so I would have to write y plus 10 here and y here hence among the families which do not keep Doberman x plus y Labradors are there and x plus y plus 10 Rottweilers are there so our, our job is done we are done with three points now I want to see point a point a says among the families who do not keep Labrador now we are talking about uh, these three places 15 y plus 10 and the blank one so the number of families keeping Doberman is equal to the number of families keeping Rottweiler so Rottweiler are y plus 25 to make it y plus 25 I have to write y plus 10 here as well and now I would like to look at point number d the number of families keeping only labrador which is y is half of the number of families keeping some other dogs as well as well means labrador plus something so labrador plus plus something there are three places so we already have one plus x written in those places but the sum of these three places should be 2y so i think i'm going to write here 2y minus x minus 1 hence the sum of these three places will become 2y so now i'm going to work out a little bit I, I am still 
left with point C that I'll see. So if I add all the numbers, so we already have 3y in the entire circle of Labrador. Then we have 2 times y plus 10, that is 2y plus 20 plus 15, that is 35. And that, all that is equal to 105, which means 5y is equal to 70. And which tells me that y is equal to 14. The moment we get to know the value of y, I think we should move to the second diagram. And that is why I had made it to write the numbers independent of variables as much as possible. So 42 y means 14 here. This becomes 27 minus x. This remains x. This remains 1. This remains 15. This becomes 24 and this also becomes 24, making the number of Doberman dependent on x little bit. So it is 67 minus x and here Rottweilers will become 40 plus x. All right, now is the time that I would like to see the third condition and the last condition for us to see. So the number of families who keep Labrador is least among the three types of families. Okay, so this gives us two situations. One, that 42, the number of Labradors is less than the number of Doberman, 67 minus x, which tells you that x is less than 25. So the maximum value of x could be 24. And secondly, the number of Labradors should also be less than the number of rod wheelers, which tells you that x must be greater than 2. So hence, we get to know that the value of x has to start from 3 and can end at 24. For all such values of x, you will have the number of Labrador least among the three species of dogs. Okay, so with this much finding, I think we are ready to move to the questions and then work accordingly. So these are our findings and I'm going to write once again that the value of x can go up to 24 and can start from 3. Fair enough. Now let us see the first question. How many families kept exactly two dogs? So exactly two, these are the three numbers which add up to make the number of families having exactly two dogs and when you add these three numbers you get independent of x so clearly 42 becomes the answer to this question second question the number of dogs okay this is a dangerous territory because a lot of people in my experience in this question do a blunder so they read everything else but they end up calculating the number of families not the number of dogs anyway so the number of dogs kept by families keeping doberman and labrador both these are the places keeping doberman and labrador both so this one family has three dogs already and two times the number of families because it is at that place where families have two dogs each this is going to be the number now you can either maximize it or minimize it let us try to see at both the ends so it makes 54 plus 3, 57 minus 2x. This is going to be the total number of dogs kept by all those families. Okay, so you know that the minimum value of x is 3. So the maximum value of this would be when you keep x as 3 because you want to subtract smallest possible value. That makes it 51. I think we have our answer clearly that at most 51. So if it, it is at most 51, it cannot be at most 47 or 41. Let us also see what about the minimum. For that, we need to keep the maximum possible value of x, which is 24. So the minimum number of dogs when you keep x equal to 24 will become 57 minus 48. That becomes 9. So minimum is 9. We had got on our, our answer already, but for your understanding, we were doing this. Third question. Which of the following additional information would not be helpful in computing the exact number of families? So basically, we have we already have a lot of numbers clear. We just do not have the value of x. So indirectly, the question is saying that which of these options will not help you with the exact value of x? And if you read the first option, I think you'll get the answer there itself because there are 42 Labrador in the colony that we already know. So there is nothing new that it is telling us. So I think we got our answer already. But for further understanding, better understanding, let us read the other options also. So there are 52 Doberman in the colony. Obviously, if you get to know the value of this bracket number, you get to know the value of X and the job will be done. Similarly, if you read the third option, it tells you the number of rod wheelers. 
that means you get the value of 40 plus x exactly so you get the value of x exactly so both these uh, will be okay then it says fourth option says families keeping rottweiler as well as labrador are equal to the number of families keeping rottweiler as well as doberman so again there will be something equated with x and you will get to know the value of x so it's got to be the first option because it does not give you any information all right so far so good moving to the fourth and the last question it's a big question some of the families keeping only rottweilers only rottweilers that means uh, they're talking about this family 24 families some of these imported some labrador or doberman or both and in such a way that the number of dogs of these three species in the colony became equal so we don't have to worry about the families much we have to only worry about the number of dogs so you know from here the families will get shifted to either this place or this place or this place but we don't have to worry about these places or families we only have to worry about the number of dogs so number of dogs are definitely going to increase so it says that so if only labrador and doberman were bought or imported and the number of rottweilers were kept constant and then later the number of doberman became equal to the number of rottweilers that means the number of doberman must be less than the number of rottweilers before the import which is our second statement so on the common sense ground this must be true so if second statement is definitely true our answer cannot be only one or only three or none of the above this approach helped us do less job now we have one less statement to actually check so we if we only check the first statement we'll be able to mark the accurate answer of our question okay but for our, our understanding we will talk about the third option also okay so i'm going to do some algebra here so let small l be the number of additional labradors imported and small d be the number of additional doberman imported okay so this way the total number of doberman dogs would become 67 plus d minus x total number of labrador dogs would become 42 plus L and total number of rotwheelers will remain equal to 40 plus X as nothing changed in the number of rotwheelers. Okay, so if uh, if all these number of dogs are going to become equal, so let them, let me keep them. So let me equate each pair individually. So first I'm going to equate rotwheelers equal to Labrador, which implies 40 plus X will be equal to 42 plus l which means x is equal to l plus 2 that is one finding now i'll do l is equal to d which would mean 42 plus l is equal to 67 plus d minus x which tells me that uh, l minus d plus x will be equal to 25 so substituting the value of x as l plus 2 i get 2 l minus d equal to 23 as my second equation and third i'll equate r and l which would imply 40 plus x is equal to 67 d minus x which tells me that 2x minus d equal to 27 the third equation so if i make a table of x l and d so if i make a table of x l and d okay we i think we'll be able to figure out what is happening looking at this third equation you know that number of additional dobermans is getting subtracted from 2x and then the value is 27 which tells me that the value of x cannot be less than 14 now suppose if you keep the value of x as 13 so the left hand side becomes 26 minus something becoming 27 which will get you the value of d negative which is impossible okay so x is going to start with 14 and whenever x is 14 l must be 12 because it is always 2 less than x so the value of l is always 2 less than x so they go linearly and d 1 now if you increase the value of x by 1 the value of l will also increase by 1 and what happens to d 
d increases by 2 we had already seen in the last so we have already seen previously that the maximum value of x is going to be 24 according to that the maximum value of l will become 22 and since d is jumping by 2 each time so this will become 21 so if you see for the first point new doberman which is small d new doberman imported and new labrador imported which is small l for us so if you see the table the new doberman is always less than the new labrador even at the maximum critical position this becomes 21 and this becomes 22 and after that the table ends we cannot move further okay so the number of doberman is always less than the number of labrador this is also always true so both 1 and 2 would be my answer fourth option so we are done with uh, the set it was a difficult set i understand and uh, i really hope that you learned something from this so you saw that how important is the correct interpretation of the language sometimes the language plays a very 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 important role language is language is purposefully made difficult so that people get confused and they do something wrong in the question so that would be all from my side for this set thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe to our channel if you really like our selection of questions and our way of explanation to do that all you need to do is click on the link